Now, following a checkered history, Somaliland is still not considered an, ind an independent state by the African Union and the United Nations, even after it became a sovereign state on 26 June 1960. Some five days later, on 1 July 1960, chose to unite with Somalia with the aim of creating a greater Somalia. Unfortunately, the formalities of a treaty of union to be entered into by both Somaliland and Somalia were not completed properly. For a look at this nation's outlook and its efforts to try and grow trade with the rest of the world, we're now joined by Dr. Mohamed Omar, Minister of Trade and Foreign Investment for Somaliland. He joins us from our Nairobi studio. Minister, welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much for having me on your program. So I gave a bit of history so people understand when we talk about uh, Somaliland, what we're talking about. When I talk about Africa, I always say, oh, 54 countries, but you have to remember, it is 55 if you include Somaliland. But of course, Somaliland has struggled to be recognized by the African Union because of the outstanding issues with the greater Somalia. But let's begin with the mandate that you have to try and increase trade. Does that lack of a recognition make it even more difficult for you to get investors to come to Somaliland? Um, well, you're right. Um, Somaliland isn't uh, recognized yet as a, um, uh, as a member of the African Union. Uh, but Somaliland is, uh, has been uh, taken very serious by the international community, including Africa. Uh, we are a, a, a reliable partner in terms of the um, security cooperation, in terms of economic cooperation. But also we are uh, a very good model of Africa if you talk about democracy because Somaliland has been a democratic state um, and a, f a functioning democracy over the last uh, tw more than 20 22 years in the Horn of Africa. We have had a successful uh, um, election and a successful transfer of power from one government to another government. So in, in many ways we, we are an example, a good example in Africa. But yet we have not been recognized. And my job as a Minister of uh, Trade and Investment is to try and open up uh, Somaliland for international business. Mm. Uh, we would like to, have a, to welcome a foreign direct investment in my country because we have all the uh, facilities that you would, as an investor, need mm. uh, to have in place uh, in an African state. Yeah. So I, I, I think we are making some progress on that. Yeah. Minister, I have got a guest with me in studio who is listening very attentively to what you are saying. He is uh, Dr. Katsumi Hirano. He is the Chief Senior Researcher of uh, the Institute of Developing Economies for JETRO, the Japanese agency that promotes uh, trade between Japan and the rest of the world. So he would be very interested in some of the things you are saying. Why should he talk to Japanese companies about potentially looking at Somaliland and its relationship with the rest of the continent. What would he find? What would be the advantage for him? Investors from, um, from wherever they are uh, would find uh, Somaliland as a, a, a country that has got a conducive environment for investment. For example, we have a, a good governance. We have a transparent democratic system in our country. Uh, we have a, what we call a one-stop shop, which is there is a single registration process for any international or domestic company. You don't have to go to different areas in order to get your registration. Mm -hmm. We have uh, tax holidays. For the first three years, foreign investors uh, don't have to pay income tax. And after that, they will, have a reduce, they will pay a reduced income tax. Mm -hmm. They will have a, pro a protection of their assets. We will be able to give them a, an industrial land for their investment. Uh, we are linked with the international and local financial sectors. We have a, a huge amount of resources in our country, minerals, oil, agriculture, one of the longest coasts in Africa in terms of fishing. We are very close to Ethiopia, which is over 90 million people, and landlocked, and, and Berbera port, which is our Somaliland port, mm. is, is one of the closest, if not the closest, to Ethiopia, and therefore we, have, we can be a regional gate yeah. in terms of economy to the region. Mm. So there is a, a, a lot of reasons why any investor would be interested to come to my country and invest. Yeah, Minister, you sell very well, and I can see my guest is nodding his head about uh, some of the things that you are mentioning. But uh, let's talk about that relationship with the rest of the continent, because the lack of recognition, of course, makes it difficult then for governments to formally establish relationships with you. But have you been seeing any trade passing through your ports? As you say, you are very close to uh, Ethiopia, which, of course, we know is an 80 million or 90 million uh, people market, uh, depending on who you listen to. Yes, we have a, a, a good relationship 
um, uh, a trade relationship already with Ethiopia, yeah. which is our next next door neighbor. Um, Ethiopia makes use of our port. Uh, How but much? We are developing. We, 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 not a lot, because, because it, it, a bear report needs to be developed. And we are now talking to a number of key investors um, uh, who are interested to change bear report into a modern container terminal, yeah. which would serve the whole region. By the way, not only Ethiopia, but next Ethiopia we have um, the Republic of South, Af South Sudan. Again, another oil producing African state, which is landlocked and constantly looking for an outlet yeah. to the sea. Berbera Port can offer an alternative to all those uh, big business partners of ours. When would that expansion be and how much is it costing and who is funding it? We are still talking to a, a, a one key uh, 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 port developer um, which, is, which, which is ongoing. I don't want to discuss about the, uh, about the discussions we are having now but we are okay. not that far from you know, uh, 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 looking into uh, uh, either we can conclude an agreement or if we can't, then we will go and find uh, other, uh, other partners. But we are not far from having a, a conclusive arrangements with the key, key investors who want to build our port. Yeah. Now, in terms of uh, the companies that you have been talking to, have, are there any large companies that people can recognize that have already decided that perhaps Somaliland does offer a stable environment for investment? We have a number of uh, uh, companies that are interested. Give me some in names, in Minister. Building, building but, also, but also operating in Barbara. I can give you an example, Bolloré Logistics. Bolloré is a French company, uh, well known, managing, uh, I think, more than 30 uh, ports in Africa already, mainly in, in, the, in the West Africa, French-speaking uh, French Africa. Yeah. Uh, is a well known. We have been talking to... Um, to, to Bolloré, uh, you know, we have been to Paris and spoke to them. They, they have been to Somaliland many times. We, we are talking, we, we're talking seriously yeah. um, with Bolloré on a potential ar arrangement. Um, but if, if that arrangement doesn't go uh, through, there are a number of other companies that we can talk uh, to, to see if we can have a deal. We're not only talking about development, we're talking about both development, but also talking about the operation of, of yeah. the port, but also building a corridor that links from Berbera all the way to Ethiopia. Yeah. We're also talking about free zones and, you know, uh, a lot of um, maritime uh, uh, projects that would put Somaliland in, in, in the map, economically yeah. speaking. Yeah, you spoke about uh, other natural resources that are available in Somaliland. Can you give us some of them? You mentioned oil. Has this been uh, established for a fact or you are still ex exploring? Uh, we have a, a number of companies um, who are now exploring, uh, and I, I can give you an example, is Ganel, which is a, a London listed uh, company, um, is, is known internationally, uh, ex at the moment exploring a, 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 an oil in Somalia, and they are now doing seismic uh, studies. Um, there are a number of other uh, companies, uh, East African uh, Resource yeah. is an, another company, we have um, DNO, there are a number of other key oil uh, companies that are interested in Somalia, okay. but also exploring, uh, and uh, they have been given concessions. So that's oil. Other minerals? And, and there are a, a new Chinese company uh, um, um, that is interested in, in our mines, and we just have given him a, a contract. Mm. But that's, 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 that's done very recently.